We're like Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, well, who gets to be Garfunkel? Let's go joining, come on. No, Robbie, I can't, I told you. Oh, come on, come on, oh, come wait. on. Wait for, I don't know, Saturday, oh, please. Robbie. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Latest software and hardware coupled with the latest digital cinematography has made it possible for three Johannesburg-based production companies to conceptualize, script, shoot and edit a film within a short space of time. We caught up with Johnny Barbuzano, director television film, who took us through the conceptualization process. Three production companies got together, Go Sheet Productions, Team Best Productions and Lokalala Productions. Uh, we got together uh, last year, I think October, and we were tired of talking about doing that amazing film one day because we've been speaking about it for years and years. So we decided the only way we could get it done and without any money would be to do it in a very short space of time. So we looked at the record to see what would be the fastest time that a film could be done and it was 11 hours by, and 11 hours, 20, 11 days, 23 hours and 45 minutes by an Indian film called Sevapa Mazai. So we decided, while we're already going to make a fast film, let's try to break the world record while we're at it. Three production companies, we all wrote it together. We wrote it in three days. started on the 1st of May. Uh, I directed. Team Best pretty much do, did the line production, so doing the budget and all of that. The latest innovation used during the post-production process has proved to be faster and efficient, and the results were unbelievable. We made use of a few different technologies. We, we made use of the new Adobe um, uh, Production Premium Suite, which allowed us to work natively with the, with the files that the, that the camera shot. So traditionally, you'd have to transcode into different formats before you could, could actually edit with these cameras. Um, and with this production, we just literally dropped the files into our system and, and worked. So. Um, the editing package and the, app, the software application that we used was, was quite advanced. Um, and also we had a, a centralized a storage system which allowed us to have three edit suites working at the same time on the film. So we had three separate editors working um, on different parts of the film and then we put it all together. So, so that centralized system where we linked all our machines together was, was also fairly advanced. The use of the latest camera equipment that was just introduced to South African market also made it possible to minimize the production time. Well, when we decided to do the film, we were lucky enough that the Sony F55 was released in the country. Um, no one's ever used the Sony F F55 here. Uh, so we were sponsored that uh, from Sony and Nates also gave us a lot of their equipment as well. So it's the first time that the camera's ever been used in the country. It shoots 4K RAW and it's a beautiful camera. There's no way we could shoot this fast without that kind of technology. Johnny feels that Africa has its unique way of doing things and is able to set its own standards utilizing whatever opportunity at their disposal. I think what's good about this country and I think a lot of Africa is we shoot very, very fast. And I think that it was started by Nigerian films that would shoot like within one day and within a week it was already out on the shelves. So we're able to do these kind of productions very fast and at a very good quality. Um, it all comes down to money and time. If you've got money and time, you can make anything look as good as the American or uh, British cinema. A shift from the general use of traditional production methods by the three production companies shows how technology shapes the world on a daily basis.